welcome back to my channel. I'm Missy and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how I make my gourmet cupcakes for under $10. That's right, buttercream frosting, delicious cupcakes for under $10. So let's go to the kitchen and I'll show you how I do that. So these are the ingredients that you'll need to make these cupcakes. This is a cake mix from Betty Crocker. I picked Rainbow Bit because that's always fun for a birthday party or just to, you know, give to someone and bring their spirits up. I think it's really pretty inside. And then we have vegetable oil to which we need a half a cup, which runs you about 50 cents. We need a cup of water, which is free, and three eggs, which runs you about 90 cents. So let's get mixing. Okay, so we're going to start with our cake mix. And I'm going to put the vegetable oil in and the water and our eggs. I put it all in at the same time. Make sure your oven's on 350. We're going to bake these for probably about 20 to 25 minutes. You can use a hand mixer, a stand mixer, or you can just use a whisk. I'm going to use this uh, hand mixer. mix this for about two minutes and this is what it looks like. I usually make my cakes from scratch but if you have to go buy flour and all the other ingredients to make one from scratch it's going to cost a lot more than ten dollars so that puts us off our budget. So let's fill our muffin cups. So I have a cupcake pan that um, holds 12 cupcakes and I have these liners I bought them at the dollar store so we'll add to our budget so they were a dollar and you can get different ones plain ones or um, ones with designs on them they have really cute ones there so let's go ahead and fill them I use a measuring cup just because it's easier to measure out And I'll come back when all of these are filled and show you. So here we are, all the cupcake liners are filled. I filled them a little bit more than I normally would, only because the cupcake liners are taller. So I'm hoping they don't run over. So we're gonna put them in the oven now at 350 for probably 20, 25 minutes. Um, I'll let you know for sure how long they took when we take them out. So here are our cupcakes, they look fantastic. Mine, because they were a little more filled than usual, they took about 23 minutes, nice and golden brown on top. And some of them overflowed a bit, but that's okay. Even if some are raised a little bit more than the others, it does not matter because we're going to ice them. Okay, so this is what you need for your buttercream icing. is a little bit of cream or milk, whatever you have in the fridge, and some butter and some icing sugar. Now I know that this middle ingredient can be very expensive. Butter can be anywhere from four to seven, eight dollars, depending on which one you buy. But I watch my sales at Walmart and I get it for $2.97 and I buy 10 of them and I freeze them. So I have it on hand whenever I need to make buttercream or a recipe that calls with butter. So just watch your sales. <laughs> adding a cup of icing sugar at a time. 
So this is the consistency it should be, and this is the icing sugar and the butter. Now we're gonna add a bit of cream, just a bit at a time. You should probably maybe use a tablespoon or two at most. And you know, that'll run you about, you know, 30 cents to 50 cents, however much you pay for your cream or your milk. You can use milk like I said before. So let's mix this up. So this is the consistency we're looking for, a nice soft buttercream. Now I went ahead and added a little bit of food coloring and that's optional. You don't have to do that, but I happen to have it in the cupboard. But it's definitely okay if you don't have it. So we'll go ahead and mix this now. So this is our buttercream done. It's a nice consistency. And like I said, I put a bit of pink food coloring in. You don't have to if you don't want to do that. If you don't have it in the cupboard, you don't have to spend the money on it. Now I just want to talk about piping bags for a minute. These are the ones that I use, these Wilton, and they run about $6 for 12. So that's 50 cents each. Or if you don't have the money to spend on that, you could always buy a silicone piping bag at the dollar store and it actually comes with the tips. So that's probably the better way to go. Um, you know, being on a budget, you have to watch your money and this will wash out really nicely and you can use it over and over again. So let's fill our piping bag. So we have the tip and the icing in our bag and our cupcake is ready. So let's go ahead and ice our cupcake. This is the fun part for me. <laughs> so I usually start in the middle, make a rosé and just go around your cupcake like this and then come back to the middle. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to do a few of these and then I'm going to show you how to decorate the top. So I ended up doing six cupcakes because I couldn't stop. It's just so much fun when you get started. So let me see what I have in my cupboard that we can decorate the top with. So I found two granola bars in the cupboard. One's chocolate, one is a popcorn granola bar with white chocolate on the other side, and I found some sprinkles. So let's decorate these. So the first one, I think I'm gonna put just a piece of chocolate in the top, and maybe one with the other granola bar. Just adds to it, it makes it look really nice. And who doesn't like a chocolate granola bar? And it was in my cupboard. I didn't even have to go out and get anything. But you could do this with cookies or, you know, just anything in your cupboard, chocolate chips, whatever you have. And also, we can put some sprinkles on there just to, you know, liven it up. And I've got some pink ones here. I'll just sprinkle those over the top. Just gives it a nice little shimmer. I was a single mother for many years and I had to get very creative with my budget. I wanted to spend what I could on the kids' presents and cupcakes are gone so fast or the cake. I wanted it to look nice, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I didn't want to order from a bakery. I had to figure things out on my own and, and uh, it was a lot of fun doing that. Just sprinkle a little bit more. How cute. Really cute, really gourmet. No one would think that you made them yourself. Absolutely beautiful. So here are our beautiful cupcakes. No one would know that we made them. They would think we spent a fortune buying them. Absolutely stunning. I can't wait to bite into one and I cannot wait till the family gets home so they can have one too. This was done on a budget under $10 and I still have three more I haven't decorated. So you get 12 cupcakes and extra buttercream when you're finished. So whether you like to lick the bowl, to eat it with the spoon, or make some more cupcakes. Absolutely lovely. Here they are, the cupcakes that we made on a budget under $10. 
They're so stunning. Oh, I'm so happy that we did this today. I will leave all of the information in the description below. I am so happy that you joined me today. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button and leave me a comment. Until next time, bye for now.